Good morning everyone, my name is Raf. Welcome to Teddy Burns and today we will be talking about Spider-Man Far From Home. Well, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, I would suggest watching because this video uh, will have spoilers. So spoiler warning in case I ruin your life. And so bago ana, intro sa ta kay vlogger man tahay. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Sony and Disney, I heard in the internet that Sony and Disney has broken their deal. So, pasabot si Spider-Man and um, Marvel or MCU Okay, nagbulag na sila. Because if you think about it, Tony Stark, he has decided not to be part anymore of the Avengers' attempt to go back to time to gather the stones para ilahang i-undo atong decimation ni Thanos. And, kanang, usa sa akong mga favorite na scenes ba? If you have watched Endgame, um, usa sa mga favorite na scenes dito <laughs> is kani. Only na time na si Juan, si Tony Stark, um, naka-decide siya na mutabang sa Avengers to help them to build a time machine for the time heist because of one um, particular scene in which he was cleaning the sink and he saw the picture of them and Spider-Man in, in top of a fridge, I'm not sure. And when he saw their picture, he reflected on it. That's when he... That's when he gave much thought about the idea of the time travel. Anyway, so let's move on to the latest movie of Marvel, which is the Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, this, to be honest, this is one of my favorite movies. Uh, simply number one, ang, number one para sa ko ah, kay katong Spider-Man 2. Which tung, kay tungod, kabalong ano, tungod ani oh. <laughs> Hello, cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm just kidding. Um, I just think that that movie was nice. Anyway, uh, that's the reason why I'm going to go Spider-Man 2. Anyway, so Spider-Man Far From Home, I think that this movie is really good. Um, the actors really did well. I like the plot. I like how... Kay, kay kung nagatan ang mong kuwan, nagatan ang... Sorry. Naga, if you're reading comics, you would know that Mysterio is a master of illusionist. So, mangingilad ba? Murag yung mga kuwan. Mga ex, ngilad. And... I like how they use the barf or the technology of Tony Stark para mailad. But anyway, this isn't a video about... The, a review. A lot of people has already done it. And I'm sure na nag... Kung... Kung na mo yung mga kaila or nang tanaw mo sa mga lain channel, it, our reviews have already been done. Today, we are going to talk about um, sa akong personal na kon, sa akong mga personal na katunan sa pagtanaw ni na movie. I've only seen this movie once, but I have written um, hopefully some lessons that I've learned throughout this movie. So, if you haven't seen again, spoiler warning, in case I ruin your life. So, napamudre. Alright, let's go. Number one. Number one na ang ako ang na... na na learn na nina movie was how selfish and unselfish people can be. Tungod, if you watch the movie um, or a movie, if kato mga wala pa katanaw, if you don't really mind spoilers, si Mysterio, si Mysterio used to be a previous uh, employee or trabahante ni Kwan, ni Tony Stark, and he was fired because of some selfish reasons or some reasons that Tony Stark thought na ang invention ni ni kani ni Quinton ni Quinton Mysterio might be used sa mga dili maayo na butang so invention ni Mysterio kung wala mo kabalo kay kani
breathe. Wake up, dear, and say goodbye to your father. Who's the homeless person on the couch? <sighs> this is why I love coming over Christmas, right before you leave town. Be nice, dear. He's been studying abroad. Really? Which broad? What's your name? Candace. Do me a favor. Try not to burn the house down before Monday. OK, so it's Monday. That is good to know. I will plan my toga party accordingly. Where are you going? Your father's flying us to the Bahamas for a little getaway. We might have to make a quick stop. At the Pentagon, right? Don't worry. You're going to love the holiday menu at the commissary. You know, they say sarcasm is a metric for potential. If that's true, you'll be a great man someday. I'll get the bags. He does miss you when you're not here. And frankly, you're going to miss us because this is the last time we're all going to be together. You know what's about to happen. Say something. If you don't, you'll regret it. I love you, Dan. And I know you did the best you could. That's how I wish it happened. By nearly augmented retroframing, or BARF, God, I got to work on that acronym, an extremely costly method of hijacking the hippocampus to clear traumatic memories. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that they never made it to the airport or all the things I did to avoid processing my grief. But plus $611 million for my little therapeutic experiment. Okay, so Mount of Invention in Mysterio, um, which you reject ni Tony Stark, ihang gi fire, tungod sa reason na it might be used in bad way. And then Kintin got bitter, so nasuko si Mysterio because he got fired. Nagplat siya og revenge kang Tony Stark for a very long time. So if you think about it, kung tanaw mo og endgame, the reason mo na kaingon ko na selfish kay si Mysterio is wala niya na appreciate. He didn't appreciate what Tony Stark did for everyone. He might have he might have blipped away. Katong apil siya sa kwan ba? Apil siya sa snapping. Didn't even show the movie na appreciate niya ang nibuhat sa mga Avengers. He might have even been included sa katong pag snap ni Thanos. Um, his family might have been included, but he he didn't really showed any gratitude and that's one thing I really learned from the movies and no matter how good you, you try there will always be selfish people katong ikaduha unselfish people because of the example of Spider-Man we know that Spider-Man was really in pain because in Endgame we saw that in front of his eyes Tony Stark died and we know how he really cared for Tony Stark but in spite of that um, gonna, he in the first part of the movie it showed us that Peter Parker just wanted a time off. Pahulay siya siya ba? Sayang pagka, kwan? Sayang pagka Spider-Man. Okay, kapoy siya. And gusto mo niya magpahinga. But when trouble um, emerged, he he wasn't selfish enough na to say, screw you guys, uh, bahala mo diya. Um, I'm moving on pa. But he instead, he, he stepped up and he helped. And you will always have a choice. Delete choice now. Oh, this thing happened to me. A lot of problems in life. That's why I'm like this now, right now. So you, you, it's, it's not a problem. It's how you deal with the problem. Okay, you get the point. Okay, number two that I learned from this movie is somewhat connected to the first one. The second one is we choose our destiny. The reason why we choose our destiny is that these two characters, Peter Parker. And si Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, Ganahan ko sa iya, is really perfect and in a row. Um, they both had experienced rejection or setbacks. First come Peter Parker, if you've seen uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. No, no, sorry. If you've seen Spider-Man Homecoming, um, you, you would you'd be familiar with this scene. Yeah, that's Peter Parker being rejected or being turned down by Tony Stark if you would allow me to use the term. He didn't go bitter sa 
ano yung napanghita mo? Hindi, hindi siya nagalit. What I like about the first movie is that it showed us that rejection um, isn't a reason for us to fail. It can instead fuel us to do better. Well, for Mysterio, he also had a similar experience um, when he was rejected by Tony Stark. But instead of stepping up and proving himself, he gone bitter. And that bitterness, that anger that he had for Tony Stark was the reason why he became a villain. So that's it, guys. Uh, there, that's the second lesson that I that I learned. We choose our destiny. We can always choose our destiny. Kita mo pili ba sa to ang kwan sa to future. So if you have any similar experience, um, feel free to comment below, and I will definitely read it. Or if there was any setbacks that you'd like to share, feel free to comment and let me know how you faced it. It's always good to hear from other people's experiences because I think personally for me, for me there's like there's a quote that I really like um, from John by the way. Yeah, by the way, yeah, yeah, Plato, his family name is by the way. Ingon siya na wise people learn from experience. But wiser people learn from other people's experience. Quick recap. Number one was the movie showed us how selfish and unselfish people can be. Number two is that we choose our destiny. So basically, you can choose to be selfish or unselfish. Okay, number three, na nalearn ako ano nasa lida is that be careful who you trust. So dapat bantay ka sa mga mga saligan. Um, si Mysterio, ano na movie, it, he was portrayed or he portrayed or acted himself like a good guy at first to gain Peter's trust in which he really did um, easily dali ra kayo ba nakuha day niya yung salig even, he j- even if Peter just met him um, for a couple of days or I don't think it was days I'm not sure I've just seen it once but even if Peter just met him for a very short time nagsalig din siya trusted him enough to give him an Edith katong glasses na gihatag ni Tony Stark sa Yaha which contained sensitive information about military grade weapons which for me was I kind of thought about it during the movie is that couldn't Tony Stark just give the Edith glasses to Rhodey which he met from 2008 pa someone who has military experience who is best friend na iyahang na met for how many years already and have known him for more than 10 years well anyway i was just wondering about that so um that's the third lesson we need to be careful in who we trust and there was this scene in captain america winter soldier in which steve rogers and nick fury were in an elevator and nick fury was telling him about his granddad being really butan and kind and he would say hi sa mga tao and, and people would say hi back and then fast forward pila katuig ha Fast forward to, to a couple of years, he would say hi, and people would say keep on stepping. So he, he became more careful na, and he would always bring um, a weapon para, to protect him. There was this line from Nick Fury, something like, My grandpops love people, but he never trusted them too much. So I think we should be careful in who we trust because it's so hard to earn and it's so easy to break. Because for me, trust is something na medyo taas ba sa guma or sa love. Uh, there's this quote, to be trusted is a greater compliment to be loved. And for me, that's really true. And if you agree, let me know in the comments. This movie has really taught me a lot of stuff. Um, but those are the three things na ako na-learn ay na salida. Um, I hope you like the video. What other lessons did you got from the movie? Let me know. Comment down below. Feel free to share and I will definitely read it. So, kanat lang guys. That's it for today. Yun muna ngayon. Kita kits tayo next time. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, and share. And subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And kung nakasubscribe na mo, ano subscribe? Tapos subscribe na saan. That's it everyone. Thank you for watching. And peace. Peace. <laughs>